Well, the struggling United States Football League is resorting to what some are calling the long bomb in court. An antitrust suit against the National Football League. Nick Charles is here with right. all the details. Don, the action is not on the field tonight. The lawsuit is large and lengthy, though. The USFL suing the NFL for a total of $1.32 billion. It accuses the older established league of two things. First, conspiracy to put the USFL out of business. Secondly, unfair monopoly of network television. Stadia to play the games in, player contracts, and even media relations. USFL attorney Roy Cohn said Thursday the NFL has violated antitrust law by monopoli monopolizing every vital aspect of the game. Buy up three networks when they dictate to you you can't play football when the fans want you to play football, when they tie up stadiums with leases uh, so you have no place to play. The NFL owners each made $14 million from television revenue last year. The USFL, less than $2 million. NFL teams average almost a $1 million in profit. USFL teams lose $3.5 million apiece. So is this action akin to a drowning man grabbing at razor-sharp knives to stay afloat? Donald Trump, who owns the New Jersey Generals of the USFL and represented the owners, answered this way. I think we have an excellent lawsuit. We have a case of a total monopoly by the NFL, and we expect to be successful in court. We're not doing this for any other reason. The NFL has reserved comment on the issues, but Commissioner Pete Rozelle did say Thursday, quote, this suit is a transparent effort to interfere with our season and to lay the blame for the USFL's well-known problems and failures at someone else's doorstep, end quote. But the USFL says the NFL has been busy with a conspiracy committee whose only aim was to bury the new league. They just put every roadblock in your way, which they can do by virtue of their economic muscle. And that is exactly what the Sherman and Clayton Antitrust Act say if you do it, you pay treble damages to the people who suffer as a result of your doing it. So the USFL will play this spring, but they voted to move to the fall in 1986, competing directly with the NFL. But Cohn argues the, uh, the league is, is committed to uh, the, the, the uh, football. The networks are committed to, to the uh, NFL at the exclusion of his client. Finally, the cast of characters is appealing as well. The mighty uh, Pete Rozelle on one side, USFL Commissioner Chet Sem Simmons, a former network sports executive, Roy Cohn, chief counsel for the late Senator Joseph McCarthy Senate panel, and there's even father against son. Edward DiBartolo, Sr. of the USFL Pittsburgh franchise, is in effect suing son Edward, who is presently president and owner of the NFL 49ers. So the plot is already thick, and they haven't even gone to court yet. Seems to be the issue. We're wearing pads in court, perhaps. <laughs> That's exactly right. Nick Charles, thank you.